Not too bad, buddy, for outside friggin' backyard. Outdoor Yeah, outside, outdoor friggin' spray on stuff. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> I'm shaking up this Raptor liner, and I've put the color in it, and the hardener in it, and I'm shaking it up for a minute, and then I'm going to go spray it. Well, I'm running out of time, but now is the time to pull the masking off. This is the compressor I used. It's only 5 CFM, but it's the only one that has a decent regulator, pressure regulator on it. These are the air filters that I used, two of them. That's the paper that I used, some sort of printer paper for masking. And that's the hose that I used. Acid etch primer grease and wax remover sandpapers and stuff and a bug landed a bug landed right there and I tried to pick it out and uh, I think I made it worse When I peeled the masking tape off, it was stretching like rubber. So maybe I peeled it off a little too late. I'm not sure. So that line is imperfect or has an imperfection. But I was going to do a pinstripe or I might be able to overlap it when I do the bottom tone. This is going to be two-tone. So when I do the bottom, it, I could probably overlap it a bit. And that... That bug there, I can uh, I can get another single liter of red and redo it sometime. The texture is pretty pretty cool. Turned out pretty good. Not too bad. It's not it's not good, but it's not bad. A little bit of a little bit of overspray there. And I think the other side's better because there's no bug there's no bug on the other side and the line turned out better over there. Masking tapes. Yeah, the line is I don't know, it turned out a lot better over here on this side. And I think this side uh, I think this side turned out a little bit better. I got bad lighting on this side though for some reason I'm not picking it up on my camera very good.
this is the stuff that I used here for doing the roof the red roof it's a this is a tintable product so you can tint it to your color there's the tint there hardener and the product and some of the other products I used this actually came with the kit and I've had this product for a, for a while now I just haven't had the opportunity to use it or spray it and I've got this stuff here five more liters to do the rest of the car do the bottom of the car Oh my goodness. What's going on? Why is that green? Why is that white? No. What the frig's really going on? There's red there too. Huh. Doing exciting things. This could be exciting. Weird because... Two different water traps. Uh, yeah, I don't think water would make it through the line. Not too bad, buddy, for outside friggin' backyard. Outdoors in the kitchen. Yeah, outside, outdoor friggin'. Spray on stuff. The texture, the texture, it's still sticky and wet, so be careful. Oh, the apparently my flashlight is on. Friggin' rights, buddy. Oh my goodness. Sun's going down, but uh, got the car sprayed with the Raptor liner today. I know it's dark, it's getting dark, and it's hard to see. But so far, I'm happy with it. And actually the body is like three or four times bigger than the roof section, at least. And it seemed to be, seemed to be easier. I had, uh, I had a couple imperfections in the roof. But in the body itself, it seems to be decent. Not too many imperfections that I can see. Maybe tomorrow when the sun's out might uh, be able to see better but yeah I'm pretty happy with it it's a little bit different the two-tone 
but uh, yeah, I'll have a better look at it tomorrow in the light. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit dirty. I didn't do a very good job washing it, that's for sure. But this is what it looks like with the Raptor liner. It's got quite the quite the texture to it. It's hard to get it to see that it's not just black, it's I'm gonna miss it, buddy. I'm gonna miss this one. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs>